Go Eagles! Yo, Howie Roseman, Doug Peterson, it is time. It is time. It is time to trade for Jalen Ramsey. Yo, the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. It's Gary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> 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 oh, demon! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! That was crazy! Happy trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. Yo, everybody, do King Ding Bat here. Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I'm going to say this, uh, the Eagles have signed Orlando Scantrick, they've brought him back, and uh, this is just basically a body for depth and that kind of thing, because the Eagles secondary is decimated right now, it, it is banged up really bad, and here's how I feel about the Orlando Scantrick signing, who cares, who cares, if he wasn't even good enough to make it on this team, you know, the 53-man roster, and then we've seen how bad our corners have played. What do you think I think he's going to do? He's a body. He's a guy out there. No. Look, I've watched a lot of Eagles football over the years. I've seen them when they haven't had good secondary. Maybe they haven't had a great offensive line. I remember the Buddy Ryan days. They couldn't run the ball. Okay, I remember things that happened to these teams. And I'm, I, honestly, I have never seen an Eagle secondary this bad in my life, in my life. And usually, when you have a hole, when you're that bad at a position, it usually, nine out of ten times, it comes back to haunt you at some point. It comes back to haunt you. And I would hate to see the Eagle season end in the playoffs, in the championship, in the Super Bowl, wherever, because they score 42 points and it's not enough because their secondary stinks. You know what I mean? I mean, the Eagles put 34 points on the board. It almost wasn't enough. I mean, let's be honest here. We won a big game yesterday. I'm very excited about it. But <laughs> Devontae Adams doesn't come out of that game. I don't know we win. That was a big loss for the Packers. I'm just being honest. I'm just keeping it real. It was a huge loss for the Packers. He had 180 yards. I think they targeted him 15 times. Okay? And this isn't just a, oh, it was just one of those weeks. This has happened against the Redskins and rookie wide receivers. It happened in Atlanta with Calvin Ridley, with Julio Jones. It has happened with Marvin Jones Jr. And then it happened last night with Devontae Adams. We cannot stop a number one wide receiver. We cannot do it. We cannot do it. Now you have Sidney Jones hurt. You have Ronald Darby hurt. These guys weren't even playing that good anyways. Avante Maddox gets hurt. Uh, you know, I would wish him well, and it looks like he, he's going to be okay. But he wasn't playing well either. I mean, he, 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 got, he, was, getting, he was getting destroyed by Devontae Adams. You, it, it's just unbelievable to me. And you can blame Jim Schwartz. You can blame the players. I kind of think it's 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 both of them. It's 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 all of it. Okay, I think the way he plays his corners back it kills them. But at the same time, when you they throw a five yard pass, five yard out, and you can't get there in time, and then they can turn it up field for forty yards over and over and over and over again, a fourth and three, Julio Jones. Boom, gets it, takes it for a touchdown. This happens every week. And why would we think this is going to stop anytime soon? You got to play Amari Cooper twice still. You got to play uh, Thielen and Diggs. I mean, you got to play a lot of good players, a lot of good wide receivers. And we got to get it together. Every team is going to pick on this secondary. And when I, when I, when I look at it and I think to myself, how do you how do you fix this? There's really, in my opinion, one way, one way, and this this is a plea.
to Howie Roseman, to Doug Peterson, to go out and get Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey still wants out. He still wants out. He was on, I guess, Sirius Radio. He says that it's not about money. It's about respect. He, he doesn't feel there's respect in Jacksonville, and there's not going to be. And he wants out. And the trade request still stands. Now, he hasn't really been around all week. He was sick on Monday. Then he had like a hurt back on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, they let him go because his kid, he, he was having another daughter. And um, they're like, just come back whenever. This ain't going good. This ain't going good for Jacksonville, and this can't end good. Now, there's a lot of people say, we don't need Jalen Ramsey. He is a bad locker room guy. He is a me, me guy. Well, if, if, this, if he's so bad, then why did the owner of the team, why, why did they pull the trade, trade off? Why did they not trade him? Why do they want to keep him and work it out? Because he's not as bad as you think. He is a winner. He is super hyper competitive and a lot of the frustration a lot of things you see comes because he's losing every week he's been in Jacksonville they always lose except for one year okay Jalen Ramsey can shut down DeAndre Hopkins to 40 yards what do you think last night if you just put him on Devontae Adams he would have done he is the single guy that can make an impact right away on this defense. I'm telling you, his attitude, his swagger, the way he plays, it, it, it demands respect. It demands respect. And there's nobody else in the league that can give you that, that can demand as much respect as him. And I think even when it comes to Jim Schwartz, I don't think Jim Schwartz with other players would sit there and say, okay, you play this guy man-to-man, -man, and we're going to let you play number one wide receiver. I think he would say, you're going to play our systems, and you're going to play back, and you're going to do everything we do. Jalen Ramsey's the exception. Jalen Ramsey is the guy where he has no choice but to put him on the best wide receiver because that's what Jalen Ramsey is. He's a shutdown corner, perhaps the best in the league. And, and I think that if the Eagles acquired Jalen Ramsey, it wouldn't fix everything. It wouldn't fix everything. But you wouldn't see Devontae Adams 180 yards. You wouldn't see it. You wouldn't see it. Now, they're going to give up plays here there. But for the most part, that stops right away. Stop it in its tracks. If you get Jalen Ramsey, I think you can win the Super Bowl. You don't get Jalen Ramsey, I feel like, well, we have a chance. We have a shot. But, you know, I hate to go into the playoffs and lose you know, to a team because our secondary stunk so much. You know, it puts a lot of pressure on your offense to always score a match in every possession. Literally. I mean, I would, it got to the point last night that I wanted onside kicks. I wanted us just to onside kick because my feeling is, why kick the ball off and in seven plays they're in scoring position when you could onside kick it and they're there in four? Maybe at least you get the ball. But it was that bad for a while. Now, the defense came up in two goal line situations, and that's good. And it was big, and I give him credit. But the truth is, you also, in a goal line situation, you have less field to run. So everything's tighter. It could be a little harder. And Green Bay made a big mistake not running the ball. But Jalen Ramsey is the key right now. We have a mini bye week right now, and we got to get it done. Now, I'm willing to go two first rounds, okay? And some of you might say, well, look, we can't afford him long term. I disagree. I disagree. I look at Jalen Ramsey, 24 years old, as a foundational piece to this defense. If you gave two first-round picks, you're probably picking 15 between 15 and 32, let's just say, right? I guarantee you, well, 90%, that the two players you pick in that year, in either of the first two picks that you give away, are not going to be Jalen Ramsey. You're not going to lose anything in terms of talent. Um... Yeah, the contracts are tough coming down the road for the Eagles, but there are ways to do it. And look, as far as I'm concerned, the Eagles can create cap space by taking on dead money. There's a lot of guys that they could cut for 10, 12, 13 million. They're going to eat some dead money. So be it. So be it. I just watched the New York Giants trade Odell Beckham and eat $15 million. What did the Steelers eat for, um, for what's his face? Antonio Brown. Teams eat money. The Eagles ate a lot of money when they traded Stinkford to Minnesota. So be it. 
get get Jalen Ramsey in and get him signed long term. You get Jalen Ramsey, it stops tomorrow. Tomorrow, well, next Sunday. It's over. It's over. You're not going to have to deal with all. I mean, we're talking about every number one wide receiver so far has destroyed us. And it's not going to change. You got Now you got Darby ha hamstring. You got Sidney Jones out. Avante Maddox was hurt. It's getting worse and worse. We're bringing back Orlando Skandrick. He stinks. Let's be honest. He couldn't even make the 53-man roster. Jalen Ramsey isn't a luxury. He's a necessity. A, a mother-humping necessity. That's all I can say. We got to get him. We got to get him. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just had a coughing spell. Probably from the cigar earlier this morning. But look, I hear a lot of people say, well, we should go after Patrick Peterson or Harris from Denver, you know, or Xavier and Howard. And we should just go after these guys. Now, I'll say this. Xavier and Howard, I would go after. I, would, I have no problem going after him. He's a good corner. He's 26 years old. I would bring him in. I, I think that you, I think he can help improve. But when it comes to Patrick Peterson, when it comes to Harris, I don't think it gets the job done. Uh, what is Peterson now? He's out like, he's suspended like six games or something. I forget what it is. He's going to come back to a new team, try to get in football shape. It's going to take him, what, eight, nine weeks? We're talking about the end of the year, okay, for him to make an impact. Plus, here's the thing. I don't believe Patrick Peterson is the same player he was four or five years ago. He's still a good player, but he's not the same. And I don't think Schwartz is going to say, you know what, Patrick Peterson, take the number one wide receiver. Go ahead. I don't know that he would do it. I, I, I really honestly don't know if he would. I don't believe he would. I believe only one guy commands that respect, and that's Jalen Ramsey. You can't get away from doing that with Jalen Ramsey. It's just the way it is. That's, what he, that's his game. He's 24 years old. 24. I, you know, uh, Patrick Peterson's 29. We don't need any more 29, 30-year-old players. We need young youth that can play. That can play. If the Eagles get Jalen Ramsey, I like our chances to win the whole thing. If the Eagles don't get Jalen Ramsey, we have a shot to win it. But I am deathly scared of the secondary. I am deathly scared. And I think if if you had a secondary, I mean, you're talking about chunks after chunks. And a lot of times it's five yard pass, six yard pass, seven yard pass. Then they go for like 40, 50 yards. If we could at least take away the number one wide receiver, it would be huge for us. I don't see Jalen Ramsey as a luxury, I think it's a necessity. I think it's a necessity. If you want to win a Super Bowl this year, I think you need to go get them. And we got a mini buy right now. We got some days off. It's time, Howie Roseman. It's time. Go get it done. I'm serious. Get it done. Because the crap I watch. I watched this game three times now. And the secondary is horrendous. We even did. I mean, we even got pressure on Rodgers at times. And he still was able to find wide open guys. Wide open guys. And the only way it's going to change is if you have a guy like a Ramsey that can come in and shut that number one wide receiver down, allowing the pressure to be taken off the rest of the secondary, let them focus on everybody else. It will vastly change this defense. Dramatically change this defense. So this is my plea with Howie Roseman and Philadelphia Eagles. I believe you have to go out and get Jalen Ramsey. I believe you need to do it. And look, you need to do it as soon as possible. And I don't care if you have to give up two first rounds and Nelson, get rid of him. Get rid of him. I don't care if you have to give up two first rounds and a third round. I don't care, but get it done. Get it done. We need Jalen Ramsey. That's my opinion. Tell me your opinion in the comment section. I've made my peace on this. I said what I had to say. I think I think we have to get him. We have to get him. And if not him, the only other guy I really want is Howard from Miami. Otherwise, uh, Pe Peterson too old. Um, you know, Harris from Denver. Eh. I don't think those guys are going to come in and make a dramatic difference. Especially when guy hasn't played what for six weeks and they got to come a new team. We need Jalen Ramsey. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, and don't be a dingbat.